Right, so before we fur uh, further explore the use of electricity to magnetize and demagnetize a magnet, right, um, a little bit of background is uh, necessary. Okay, uh, one of the greatest uh, discovery of uh, the human civilization, in fact, is that when um, there's an electrical current flowing through a conductor, it can be an electrical wire for, for that matter, Interestingly, um, a magnetic field is actually created around that conductor due to the flowing electrical current. Okay, so this is really um, one of the greatest uh, discovery. Now, as a result of that, uh, we have actually harnessed this uh, knowledge and uh, put it to good use. And uh, for this part particular uh, example, we are using this um, electricity to actually magnetize uh, magnetic materials. Okay, so um, again, before we we uh, continue further let us understand a few other things um, some of you may have just um, come across this word solenoid for the first time okay so what is a solenoid solenoid is basically um, a cause of uh, metal wires uh, imagine this um, if you were to have a long rope in your hand or long string and you were to actually uh, start coiling this rope um, along your fingers around one of your finger from one end to the other um, that will actually give you a solenoid okay so that's a solenoid on the next uh, slide we will be able to have a look at that right uh, and the other point to take note of is that um, we have to use a direct current let me repeat that again uh. direct current a DC current in order for us to magnetize a steel bar okay right so let's move on to the next slide okay we'll have a look at what a solenoid is all about okay so let's look at this this is what we mean by a solenoid okay if you to curl or coil the the copper wires along the steel bar this part itself is what we call a solenoid okay now the the beautiful thing about a solenoid is that um, by putting them side by side close together the wires are uh, side by side and uh, when we switch on the, the circuit and as electrical current flows through all these coils of wires the effect of the magnetic field that appears around the conductors will be strengthened okay so by having this a uh, stronger magnetic field we are able to magnetize a uh, magnetic material okay so this is a typical circuit of uh, how we actually magnetize a magnetic material for this case is a steel bar and uh, it will be important uh, for you to take note how to draw this particular circuit okay how this particular circuit looks like uh, again this is one of the uh, gce uh, requirement okay now for the time being just ignore this too i will explain this a little bit further a little on eh? okay so if you do switch on you find that the batteries which supplies the direct current current electrical current will flow in such a manner okay it goes behind the steel bar okay in front and goes behind and in front again so in this pattern uh, the steel bar will eventually become a permanent magnet okay so all levels again um, they would like to ask then uh, what would be the pole that is created at the right end and the left end of the steel bar having the current flow uh, flowing through the solenoid in such a manner okay so how do we de determine that uh, for the textbook they actually uh, uh, suggest that this method where you try to look at and on imagine that this is a three-dimensional you look at it at, at this part of the steel bar from this end okay you place your eyes and if you to see the current flowing in such a way then this current looks like a north while if you to place your hand your eye here you see the current flows in such a way as like a south okay uh, personally this is um, not my uh, preferred method now I will suggest a previous previous method to you and then uh, you evaluate whether this is um, something that is useful okay right so how do we determine the uh, ends the poles at the ends of the steel bar okay I like to bring you to this uh, simple uh, trick called the right hand grip rule right hand grip rule okay so what do we do okay Take note of the solenoid over here. Okay, the blue lines, light blue lines, are the solenoids representing the like, the copper wires, right? And the copper wires are, are placed in such a way, uh, such that uh, the electrical current will flow in such a manner. Okay, um, it actually flows 
upwards goes behind then upwards again behind downwards and upwards so on so forth uh, and at this particular segment you look as if the current is slowing downwards okay so what do you do how do you know which is north imagine yourself holding on to the conductor okay with your right hand now these four fingers how is it curled around the bar represents the direction of electric current in the solenoid okay and uh, when you place your fingers in such a way your thumb will naturally point in this direction okay so the thumb actually points towards the north pole of the uh, steel bar okay take note as well um, for O level sometimes they will actually re uh, reverse the, the question they will actually tell you that hey uh, on for example on the left hand side of the steel bar the north pole is created due to the magnetization uh, of, uh, with electricity so your your task is then to determine the direction of current in the solenoid again you apply your right hand grip rule it's just that now instead of placing your four fingers first place your thumb first and uh, followed by your four fingers around the steel bar okay okay so next uh, what do we look at um, we look at demagnetization um, two methods are uh, heating if you to heat a permanent magnet using a very strong flame, it will lose its magnetism. Even better, if you can place a magnet in the east-west direction to cool down. This will fully, this will ensure that it's fully demagnetized. Okay. The other method is by uh, hammering. A lot of sweat uh, involved in these two methods. You really have to pound away or heat the magnets uh, for for it to to lose uh, the uh, magnetized uh, magnetic ability. All right. Uh, preferred method is using demagnetization by electrical current okay again we make use of a solenoid the only difference is that the key difference here is that we are no longer using direct current take note this is no longer dry cell all right the power supply has to be um, from that of the household circuit um, that supplies um, electrical uh, current in an alternating manner okay it's an AC supply right so what do we do we place the permanent magnet inside the solenoid along the east west direction okay along the east west direction and after some time um, this magnet has to be pulled out very gently from the solenoid okay once you have done that you find that the magnet has been completely demagnetized okay Alright, that will then uh, bring us to the end of this particular part, uh, talking about uh, magnetization and demagnetization. Now, uh, at this point in time, I just want to add a very interesting observation of mine. Um, let's, let me move back to this particular slide. Magnetization using electrical current. Well, many students actually thought that uh, by having a solenoid this way, the metal, the copper metal of the wires are actually in contact with the steel bar. Okay? Well, in fact, this is not true. When we talk about uh, making a solenoid using copper wires, um, the copper wires that we are using are actually insulated copper wires, right? Uh, similar to those that you use in your lab during uh, DC circuit experiments. Uh, those wires, uh, which usually comes in black and red, okay? So there's this layer of insulation around the copper wires, and those are the wires that we actually use to make a solenoid hence that will means that that will actually mean that there's no electrical current that actually passes from the wire into the steel bar at all okay the electrical current does not flow into the steel bar in such a manner okay so it actually flows according to the path of your solenoid to the or the coil which you have turned around the steel bar itself okay Right, uh, that's it for this part. Uh, we will move on to part 3, um, which is on magnetic field shortly. Right, thank you.